Hey guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful 2015 so far, and I figured to start off the new year, why not start my new series as well called From the Basics. Now in this new series, I will be going over every aspect of redstoning and perhaps bring on some guest redstoners as well, all with the goal of teaching redstone newbies how a redstoner's mind works. In this first episode, I'm going to be doing a quick summary of three of the most basic redstone elements, the redstone dust, the repeater, and the redstone torch. So first of all, how do you obtain these resources? Well, when you were mining deep, you may have come across this block before, which is called redstone ore. When you mine it, it drops multiple pieces of redstone dust. Now, how do you get other redstone items such as the redstone repeater and redstone torch, you might ask? Well, you need to craft those, and in here I have the resources to do so. So the crafting recipe for the redstone torch is very simple. All you need is some sticks and some redstone, and I could just go ahead and craft myself some redstone torches. And uh, for the redstone repeater, what you need to do is get three pieces of smooth stone, two torches just like that, and there you go, that's a repeater. In basic terms, redstone has two states, either on or off. So the redstone torch is a source of power, meaning that it turns on redstone. However, the redstone torch itself turns off when the block that it is resting on is powered. Redstone dust is used to transport signals and powers blocks only when it's pointed at it. So see here, when this redstone dust is pointing at this block, it'll turn off the torch. However, if I were to redirect it like this, then as you see there, it's no longer powering that block and this torch will be able to turn back on. Redstone dust can connect to itself in many different ways, and this allows for a very flexible wiring. Unlike redstone dust, repeaters have a definitive input and output. The back part here is the input, and the front is the output. This feature of the repeater allows it to be used as a pointer of sorts, being useful in situations like this. As the name suggests, the redstone repeater repeats stuff, but what does it repeat? Well, redstone dust can only carry a signal over 15 blocks. After that, it will not be able to power anything and will need to be renewed to be able to power anything further. This is where the redstone repeater comes into play. It'll renew the signal and output a brand new one, going another 15 blocks. So there you go, that was a very brief description of these three basic redstone elements. As this is a new series, I ask that if you have any suggestions, ideas, or opinions that you put them in the comment section below so I can improve on this series in the future. As always, thank you for watching, and until next video, goodbye!